again, Brandon Stormwake here, bringing you the second episode of my 500 subscriber special. And for this episode, I'm playing a deathmatch on Rome, and I'm playing against the Prestige 26, uh, Prestige 6, and uh, I think there's a few other people that are uh, like a little bit lower Prestige, but pretty much everyone in here is Prestiged, and um, I'm using Disguise Poison. Um, I told a lot of people that I was going to start trying Disguise Poison, you know, playing without Smoke Bomb and Deathmatch, because it definitely can be done, and I'm going to showcase in this match how I can beat some really good players using Disguise Poison. Um, I do want to say, though, that I feel like against good players, Disguise is very, very hard to use, and um, good players will usually see through your Disguise. Uh, unless you're using it in a moving blend group, but even if you're using it in a moving blend group, they can still know you're in the blend group because of the proximity of the whispers they're hearing. Like, they'll start hearing whispers, they look at your blend group, your blend, blend group is coming closer, so they know you're in that blend group somewhere. So it's only a matter of time before they figure out exactly who you are, and if they have a smoke bomb, they can just smoke bomb your entire blend group, and since the stun range in this game is so big, they can pick you out and stun you. So that's one of the reasons why playing without smoke bomb against a bunch of really good people, especially really good deathmatch people, is pretty much a disadvantage. Um, but it can be done, and I'm proving it by this match right here, where I beat uh, TR Blobs. He is a Prestige 26, and he's really good. Uh, we played a few matches, a few death matches. Um, this one I won, but the other two, they were pretty close, but he won the other two. Um, and I'm pretty sure everyone else in here besides me is using Smoke Bomb. But anyways, the point isn't that I can beat everyone every time with Disguise and Poison. The point is that it is viable, and it is a very fun way to play Deathmatch. I love playing with Disguise, it's really fun, I like being stealthy, and a lot of people will probably think of me as, you know, an assassinate player. I go, I go around, I'm high profile, I'm like, super aggressive, killing everybody. Um, but actually, I do know how to play stealthy. I'm actually pretty good at being stealthy. Not the best. There are some people that can use Disguise a lot better than me, that can play a lot more stealthy than I can. But I just wanted to show that I can play stealthy, and I can use other abilities. I do not have to use Smoke. I am perfectly capable of using pretty much any ability. So I thought I would bring you guys a stealthy deathmatch where I try to get a lot of good kills. Um, unfortunately against better players, sometimes you're forced to take a little bit worse kills. Like you'll see me get um, hidden discreets, like I'll get quite a few hidden discreets or just, you know, reckless or discreets. If I feel like I have to take them, I will. And there's a lot of times where I'm sure the person sees me and I rush at them just so I don't get smoke bombs. Like right here, like I know this guy's coming, I just spam X because I know it's either a contested kill or I'm gonna get stunned. So I mean, I was forced to take a contested discreet there and there's pretty much nothing I could do about it. That guy's not retarded, he knew I was coming, he knew I was his pursuer, and yeah. That was a nice corner stun right there. Uh, corner stunning and deathmatch, definitely something you need to learn if you don't know how to do that already. Um, what's also really important is when your target's coming at you, uh, try to act like you know you're not their pursuer. Walk the other direction. You know, try to act like you're not walking towards them. Otherwise, they're gonna know for sure that you're out. I see, like right there, Ti Blobs. Like he knew, he knew I was his target. He was coming at me. I had no choice but to either run away and waste time or take the 100 point honorable death. I would rather take the 100 point honorable death, respawn, and just you know get some different pursuers, get a new target, and just kind of, you know, reset, start all over again. I don't want to waste a lot of time running away from someone. It's really just, it's not worth it. And see, as you can see, I mean, he's getting pretty good kills. Um, at the end of this game, I have quite a bit more kills than everyone else, and not that many more points. So, I mean, to be honest, I could have gotten better kills in this match, but you know what, whatever. I mean, I'm using, I'm at a disadvantage. I'm using abilities that aren't quite as good, in my opinion. I mean, I'm using Disguise instead of Smoke Bomb, and to be honest, Smoke Bomb is just a lot better. Like, there's no arguing with that fact. Smoke Bomb is better. And you guys can call it cheap all you want, but it's definitely better. Um, 
With that being said, I do like this guy's poison, and I actually was able to pull out a 12.5k, and it was against noobs, but it was a new record for me using this guy's poison, and I'm really enjoying it. So I think I'm going to continue to use that. Um, I'll probably only use Smoke Bomb if I feel like I have to, like if it's all really high prestige people, and I'm just sick of getting Smoke Bomb, then I might have to pull out my But other than that, I'm really enjoying playing with this guy. That was pretty nice. I got a lure stun streak. <laughs> I love when that happens. If you're quick with the stun, you can get a lure and a stun. Right as they kill the wrong target, you hit them with a the stun. This isn't... This is one of the worst maps in my opinion. I mean, it's not bad, but... I think my favorite maps for deathmatch is probably Venice. Duke, um, Hippocrates is good, um, Galata is actually not bad either, so I think those four maps are probably my favorite, um, I don't like Castel Gandolfo, I mean I like it in every other mode, but not this one, I don't like where they put the deathmatch area, I feel like if they put it out in the courtyard it would have been a great, a great, great, great deathmatch map, but instead they put it in pretty much the worst place possible. There's two corners on the bottom. There's two middle areas on the bottom. There's two corners on the top, a middle area on the top, and just there's just way too much area for you to not be able to find your target fast enough. So basically, your point scoring potential is a lot lower than it could be if they would have put it in a much better area. Like, for instance, Venice. There's really, there's no roofs on Venice, there's only boxes, and it's a very, very small area. Um, I mean, you can line a sight with the boxes, but it's still a lot easier to find your target, and most people seem to migrate to the main courtyard in Venice, which makes it a very good map for scoring high. Um, Souk, Souk is, um, Souk is a pretty balanced level, it has the, the building in the middle, but you can go actually through the building, so it's not too bad, and most people seem to migrate up to the top level. So really there's not that much area on the bottom where they could be, and most people don't stay on the bottom. So it's not a big it's not a big deal on that map. It's actually a really good map for deathmatch. And then obviously Hippocrates, um, it's got that big area with the well, the well that you can jump down. Um, you can get grab kills in that place. Like <laughs> you can camp there and get grab kills and I don't know, I like that map for some reason. Usually I don't see people on the roof there. Whereas maps like Antioch, uh, there's always people on the roof, or Knight's Hospital, always a people on the roof. And a lot of times on Rome, everyone will get on top of the tents. Fortunately, in this map, or in this match, I'm playing against a lot of people that they're not stupid. They're not going to sit on top of the bench and camp. So this match was good. Um, Rome can be pretty good as long as everyone's not on the tents. <laughs> But, um, as you can see, TR Blobs is up there on the tent. And then someone throws a fucking smoke bomb at me. And this is why <laughs> I like using smoke bomb. Because if I had a smoke bomb right there, I could have used it defensively and thrown it as his smoke bomb was flying at me. And if he went to come kill me, I could have gotten a stun off. Because I used long lasting. And I don't know if he was or not, but either way, if I timed it right, I could have gotten a stun there. Before I died. But yeah, I mean, I'm using Poison Disguise pretty well in this match, and I pull out in first place, and I feel like it was a pretty good match. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you enjoy seeing me play without Smoke Bomb, um, without Mute, no defensive abilities at all, it's just kind of playing as stealthy as I could, considering <laughs> a lot of these players see me coming, so I'm forced to take really shitty kills. But I did the best I could. Um, like I've said before, I'm not really a deathmatch player. Um, I am starting to get better at it. Um, I've been playing it quite a bit. So hopefully I'll continue to get better and bring you guys better and better deathmatches as I continue to get more of this uh, feeling for this mode because it's so much different than Assassinate. In Assassinate you have a compass, you can see everyone. Um, no matter where they are, you can see them. Um, you can target them first if you do it right. You know, it's just so much easier to spot your targets. And this is just—it's complete opposite. Of that.
But like I said, I like to play all modes. So I'm going to continue to bring you guys all modes I can. Try to continually improve my skill in this game in as many modes as possible. Because that's what I like to do in this game. I like to play all the modes. I really enjoy this game. Every single mode is pretty fun. And uh, stay tuned for episode 3 of my 500 subscriber special. Thanks for watching, guys.